Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armour with Stock Swoosh, and I'm looking at PIR, which is Pier 1 Imports. I used, to, I used to love Pier 1 Imports. I don't even know where there is one anymore in Manhattan, but in Pennsylvania, I used to go to the one, and I bought everything. I had Pier 1 everything. This was like 100 years ago, way before I got into the Pottery Barn. Then I bought Pottery Barn everything. Then I owned that store. Then I bought Ethan Allen everything. Then I owned everything Ethan Allen. I don't know what's next. So we'll see what happens. But all I can tell you is Pier 1 Imports. Unfortunately, I feel so, so sad for Pier 1 because the stock gap down today. Closing price today, the stock was not good. Closing price was 474. But if you went to short the stock today, guess what? You made money. It was a top watch today, the number one thing. The only thing I wanted to short, you know what's hilarious is that I did this today not aggressive and and i could have done it aggressive why it had a perfect entry and it had a perfect target it, it actually couldn't have played any better but it really had a target and then you really had to be out so this was the entry right in here for the aggressive boom i did not do that i did this one here which actually was a better stop but to make a long story short it went very very quickly and you had to be out so I will tell you that, oh gosh, I just, I don't like to work that many hours a day. I don't like to work that many minutes a day. <laughs> yeah, I think the reason that I like to short is because they happen so fast. I mean, there's lots of reasons I like to short, but this is one of them. And I wasn't even like crazy aggressive in this today, but it actually worked out beautifully. Okay, so you could have done it here or here. Here was a better entry though with the risk to reward and i really wasn't even sure if this would have risk to reward but as it turns out it did and it went to the full-on target and who knows this could even be a continuation gap for tomorrow but it ended up if you didn't get out you got stopped out you had to get out the target is the target i ride in the room in the morning this is the resistance this is the support this is the targets i'm not making these numbers up I mean, I said exactly what the target was today. I said exactly the target was 455. Do you know where it went? Low of the day, 455. I don't even think I put a dream target in the room for this because I just, I felt like it couldn't even go that much. Why? Average move of the stock on the day is normally 50 cents. The last time this stock moved more than 50 cents, it was worth more than this. So you have to account for that. Let's just take a look at this chart. I mean, a long, long time ago, like a year ago, almost February, Look at what the what look at what the stock was worth. This is crazy. A year ago almost. Not even that. Wow, it closed at 1284. This just goes to go back to prove my point about the fact that over the course of time, stocks tend to lose value rather than gain value, with very few exceptions, of market stocks and things that are big, big movers in the market. So I love Pier 1 Imports. I, I love it. I really, really do. I bet they have beautiful Christmas things. But at the end of the day, it was a good short today. And obviously, everyone in the room that did this made money. So this is a Swax Swiss Show Play of the Day. Have a great night, everyone. If you'd like to do the class this weekend, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. And have a great day.